Hola, uh, it's Gabby here for Crafty Gabby and today I'm going to make a mermaid card and using my gel printing pad to make um, the bottom of the sea and using my distress ink in uh, several color of blue and I'm going to use watercolor paper to do this and how you see here I'm doing uh, like a ombre technique using the different colors uh, from darkest to lightest I would add um, water and then I will uh, put the paper press and apply a little bit of um, heat with my blow dryer I didn't want to use my heat gun because I don't know how this is going to react to the gel pad. Now I'm going to repeat the process um, to make it a little bit uh, more um, darker and fuse the colors together. I finish doing my splishes and my splashes with paint. I'm going to do more uh, splashes with white um, acrylic paint, and I also going to seal the water paint with I don't remember how that's called. It's no weird because I never remember the name of anything that I use. Uh, it's called glaze, micro glaze from Tin Holes. It seals the watercolor and I'm going to use Mod Podge glitter to, to give it a little bit of uh, shininess to the paper. Also, I will use my um, watercolor in gold to do some a little bit more splashes to this paper. And after all that that uh, we did to the paper, I'm going to start my mermaid and color it with uh, copied uh, markers. I stamp my mermaid in um, Bristol paper. And I'm going to complete uh, her tail with origami paper in like, um, I don't know how, holographic, green, shiny, glittery. I really don't know how to call this paper. But it's something like that, it's very pretty. I'm going to stamp the, the tail of the mermaid in post-it tape 
and then I will um, place the post in top of the paper they're going to cut that way I cut them together and my paper don't have the mark of the stamp After I cut my um, mermaid, I'm going to use acrylic paint in pear iridescent color to make the top part of the of the mermaid, and I will glue the tail. After I glue my tail, I'm going to go all around my mermaid with my memento marker and I'm going to stamp, I will stamp, I already did, sorry, stamp those bubbles stamp to the paper with the unicorn ink and I will add, this is embossing paste in clear embossing embossing paste I mix it with a little bit of distress ink in blue and I'm going to do this in three sides of the of the paper Okay, now I grab like um five, six color, six to make my coral and my um, under the sea plants. And after that, I cut them. I will apply with my divers distress inks all around um, in different colors. I will do splashes in black and white. Okay, to make the bottom of the C, uh, uh, I am going to grab my touch and uh, let me think, <laughs> glitter, distress glitter that is a sign color and I'm going to um, get the either micro beads and sometimes people call it caviar beads. And I'm going to use like uh, coral color and gold color mix all together and apply this to the the bottom of the car in the dark part of the blue because the bottom of the sea is the dark part of the uh, sea. Don't mm. say like that. 
When I finish uh, doing that, immediately I'm going to place my plants and my corals, trying to make them um, a little bit under the, the sand. But after I glue everything, I will apply more of the uh, mix that I did. I'm going to make a little bit more and apply uh, again. Okay, now I am adding glossy accents to the um, bra of the, the swimming suit, I don't know, of the mermaid. And I am applying Wink Costella. No, sorry. Uh, this is Spectre Noir Glitter Pen in clear to the hair and to the plants and corals. I cut several fishes, several fish, and add them. Um, to all around the mermaid as you will see here on my um, embossing paste is already dry and my bottom of the sea is already dry I'm going to glue the mermaid and you will see in the in the pictures the the cars uh, add um, star on the bottom of the scene, the bar of the corner, and then I apply pearls to her ears and to the middle of the bra in the in the pictures. I forgot that to do that on camera. I'm sorry. Now, um, because this is a super large car, I'm going to do this car in two parts. I'm gluing her first in white car stock. And I will cut all around her, not leaving any any frame. And I will um, do the inside of the car, doing some starfish um, detail. I'm not going to add any sentiment because I want to leave it on blank. If I need it for somebody to congratulate or happy birthday or uh, goodbyes or anything. I will leave it on blank and I will stamp that for the occasion that I need. I fold that a little, little part and I'm going to glue right now my car. Uh, watch uh, the look at the pictures on the on the part, last part of the video and you will see what I mean that I add a little bit of uh, extras on the car, like the pearls and the stars in the bottom of the sea. Oh, and I add glitter with my gel pens on the fishes. Okay, thank you for watching this video. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect to be beautiful uh, on the next car. Bye.